In this video, I'm going over why gaming on Linux is better than Windows. So first off, I actually switched to doing live streams Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights on Twitch just because I really have loved these features of gaming on Linux so much better than when I was on Windows. So what are those features? Well, first off, there's the stability aspect. Once you get your game configured, even if it's a Windows game in like a wine bottle, which I've gone over in past videos, it just is so stable. You never have to worry about that. And it just sits there and you just hit run every single time. And in that same note of stability, you get performance perks. Because on Windows, you have to worry about updates, sometimes borking the actual program because an update changed some type of thing with the Windows system, and now it might perform worse. Well, on Linux, you don't have to worry about that. And honestly, you're in charge of the updates, and some updates actually increase the performance even more. So that's just fantastic, especially when it comes to Wine releases. Wine has just gone into overdrive in the past year, and we've seen so many advancements in the DXVK realm and also just general performance of DirectX 10 and 11 games. And now we're starting to see DirectX 9 games reap those rewards as well. The other thing I absolutely love is launchers. What do you mean by that? Well. On Windows, I think everybody knows each man publisher, manufacturer, everybody has their own damn launcher. The launchers have gotten out of control and have been out of control for years and years, and it's just gotten worse and worse. Well, the nice thing about Linux is most of those Windows-based games that all have their own independent launcher, well, now they're in their own specified quarantined off bottle and you just literally play the game at the end of the game you kill it and all of it's gone those launchers automatically kill themselves it's just off your system and you never have to worry about them taking up resources this is great because i have a lot of games a lot of different launchers and it's just nice not having to worry about hey blizzard origin uh, Bethesda, all of these launchers just sitting in my taskbar, just hogging resources, possibly spying on me if it's Epic and other launchers that do the same. I don't have to worry about that in Linux, and it shows when I'm playing my games. And the fourth and kind of a final reason to wrap up this section before I go into the cons, well, it has a really, really bright future. Everyone is looking at Linux when it comes to gaming. This past year has been incredible to see the amount of support it's gotten, the amount of compatibility it's gotten has just been off the charts. And this year itself has seen even more jumps of leaps and bounds better with Wine 4.0 launching and uh, the Linux kernel 5 supporting AMD FreeSync and a lot of open source drivers that come out for the graphics cards where you're not installing drivers on Linux, it just works. That's pretty much how it's going. And that means the next year is gonna be even better than this year. So if you wanna be you know, behind the times and wait several years on gaming and Linux, go right ahead, be my guest. But I know I'm enjoying it right now and it is fantastic so let's go over the actual cons because it's not all sunshine and rainbows in linux gaming world land as many have pointed out there are some things such as it's hard to set up some games some games are a pain in the butt and some simply just won't run because of anti-cheat systems set up by that publisher Probably the two most notable ones that I can think of is PUBG and Fortnite. Both these anti-cheat systems really don't play nice in Linux, so uh, I'm still having to use like a PCI pass-through solution on a Windows virtual machine. However, that is a very, very select few number of the games that are affected by that. So um, I'm not too concerned about it and Steam and other people are actually working hard to 
help with the actual anti-cheat systems and get them working properly in Linux. And the other con that I need to talk about is there's been some obscure bans by doing some games in Linux. I can't confirm any of these. However, reading message boards on Reddit, I have seen a couple people say they had been banned. Now, the short list to this that I can think of of games I actually own is Destiny 2 and Guild Wars 2, and uh, I believe there's some other ones on there. I'm trying Battlefield 4 and some Origin games right now. I have Anthem loaded up, which also has been reported, and I'm gonna be live streaming it tonight on Linux, so we'll see. Do I get banned or not? Uh, you'll, you'll know, I'll make a video about it if I get banned doing uh, Wine through EA's Origin launcher, so. I don't think we're gonna see any of that, but uh, at the same time, I wanna test it. So I went ahead and bought the game. I'm gonna play it and we're gonna see if I actually get banned for using it in Wine, as I am gonna kick up all kinds of fuss if this happens, uh, go and do a social media campaign, everything to get the word out if I get banned because I want the actual proof. Hey, I've been banned and that's not cool if they're banning people for running games in wine because a lot more people are going to be doing that and I want to make sure it's safe for everybody. And if I'm the initial casualty of it, so be it. I know I will be a very loud and vocal voice that can get through people making the decisions at these game companies to make sure that it doesn't happen because there's no reason for it. They're literally just shooting their customers for no reason and, and turning down money and angering people for, you know, nothing. So uh, there's, there's no reason for that and it's a very easy thing to fix. It is a concern and I'd be remiss if I didn't bring it up. So as far as gaming on Linux, what is the conclusion here? Well, I don't like making just videos of gameplay and other things just because, hey, you need to see it to believe it. You need to actually go in there, play your games to actually see how it performs and witness it firsthand. That's what I say. And on that same note, that's why I stream on Twitch. Links in the description below. If you want to see out any of my live streams, check me out. Come on there, make requests. I have about 200 games in my library, most of which all of them work on Linux. And I like jumping around just to kind of show you guys real world results because that's what matters at the end of the day. If you hop in my live stream and then I'm like, okay, one second, I got to install this and then I got to do all these configurations, it's going to be like three or four hours. That's not acceptable. So what I do is I'm just going to make a game list. You can choose a game. I can hop into it, kind of show you what's up. And, you know, you can see how gaming is on Linux because it is fantastic. I absolutely love it. But with that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below because I'd love to hear about it. And I'll see you on the next video.